So to make this bracelet, you will need five bar pins of a rainbow loom. You will need rainbow loom hook or crochet hook. You will need rubber bands. You will need two bands for the eyes. Then you will need approximately 49 for the head, the stripe, the spots, and the legs. That's all together. Then you'll need approximately 34 for the pink part of this ladybug, like the shell of it. So grab your supplies and let's get started. So you're going to start with your loom in this configuration. You have one peg in the middle, then two pegs on each side. They just moved up one, then two pegs, two, bleh, two pegs on each side moved up one again. So it should look like that. Now we're going to start by placing the bands for our head. We're going to go the face and then you're going to move on to the body. So take whatever color you're using for your face, which I'm using turquoise. You're going to take it, stretch it, twist it, put it back around. They're called double looped bands or double capped bands. Place it on this peg to that peg. Then you're going to take same face color, go from this peg to that peg. Then going to you're just gonna have all of these bands be double looped. You're gonna go up once there. You're gonna stretch it, loop it again, go up once on this side. Then you're gonna go up once more on each side. You're going two up on each side, then you're gonna go two up in the middle. This whole ladybug is going to be using double capped bands, so just make sure that you double cap all the bands. We want them double capped because we want it to be small so that it doesn't get in the way when we use it, when we put it on our pencil and stuff. You could use um, double bands for this, but it would make it bigger. I'm not sure exactly how much bigger because I haven't done it, but it will definitely make it bigger. But I like mine to be smaller, so that's why I'm using double looped bands. And so once we get to this point, we're actually going to put on the connecting bands for this. So you're going to take whatever color you're using, double cap it, you're going to put it on this peg, this peg, and this peg. These three right there. Oops. Then, I'm going to again double loop it, push these bands down, pull it on these three pegs. So it's like that. Now we're going to move on to making the body of the ladybug. So take whatever color you're going to use for your shell, and you're double looping it. We're going to go from this peg right here, we're going to go the right, take another band, I'm gonna go to the right one more time, then you're just gonna do start back from that middle peg, so I'm go to the left, then go to the left one more time, so it looks like that. I think you can see it better that way. And now we're gonna go up on the sides. So again, still so using double looped bands, move it up once. You're going to go three times up. So that's twice, three times. Now we're going to go to this side. You're going to move up once here. Then you're going to go up two more times. So it looks like that. Then we're going to go in the middle. We're going to make this middle line. See this one's blue? I do it that way so it looks like these are separate wings. I think it helps add to the whole ladybug, but you don't have to do that. It's really personal preference. So take whatever color you're going to use for that. And we're going to start down on this peg. Push down those bands and just go straight up. Then again, you're going to go straight up. You're going to go up five bands. That was two. I'm going to go up three more times. So 
so, like that. Now I'm going to get the shell color and I'm going to go up on these two sides. So you're going to start on this peg, go up one, go up one again. You're going to go up four times, so there's four bands. Up. As you can see, it goes like this. And the same thing on this side. Oops. Two bands there. Start from this peg, go up once, then you do this, go up four times on this side too. So there we go. So this is how your loom should look. Now we're going to close off this end, and I'm using the same color as my shell. And you're just going to start on one of these pegs, this peg or this peg, you're going to go in towards the middle connecting these ends together. So, put it in towards the middle. Then you're going to start from the other side and bring it in towards the middle. So now it looks like that. And now we're going to be adding the connecting bands up on the ladybug. So I like to use the same color as my shell, but it's really personal preference. So you're going to get your band, double cap it, you're going to put it on these three pegs, right here, three pegs. Then you're going to take another band, then you're going to go up one and do it on these three pegs. Then you're going to go up one more time, do it on these three pegs. Right there. And then we're going to go over to this side, do these three pegs. So they're going to be like connecting in the middle. And then you're going to go up again and do a triangle on these three. Right there. Then we're going to do it again on these three. And now we're going to do one on these three. Make sure they're all double looped. This is what's going to keep the ladybug hugger together and keep it tight. Now we're going to put on the spots. So I like to use four spots. I like to do it on the inner two rows because I just don't know how it's going to look on this. It might look kind of like frilly and falling off. But you can always do it and if you don't like it you can cut off that band. So whatever you want to do. But I'm going to do the same thing on this and see I have them on different lines so they're not like the same. That's what I'm going to do on this one too. So you take whatever band you're using for the spots, put on your hook, wrap it around four times so you have four loops. Then take, I like to put two spots on at a time, so two spot bands on your hook. So just wrap the next one around four times, so you have two like that. Now you're going to go to where you want to put your spots. I'm going to put one here, then I'm going to skip a band and put one there. And the same thing on this side, but I don't want them right parallel to each other. So I'm going to put it here, then I'm going to skip one and do it there. So I'm going to start with this side, so just reach there, grab that band, pull that onto it, and put it back on there. And just make sure this cap band's back on top connecting band. Then you're going to move to the next one. You will have to take this off, but then you can just put it back on again. And then you just move it on, right there, underneath there. And you're just going to pick this back up, put it right there. Then make your next two spots Do the same thing. Wrap it around four times, so you have four loops. One more. So, this is my last two spots, and now I'm going to go right here, do one, so I have to take off this connecting band, put it there, grab that band, pull that onto it, put it back there, pick up the connector band, put it 
it back where it belongs. Like that. I'm going to skip, skip a band, and go to the next one. I'm going to pick that up, drop it down. Pull that through. If your bands get like that, just pick them up and pull them over. Then I'm going to pick this up, put it right back over. So that's how that looks. Now we're going to put on the eyes. And so you're going to take whatever color you're using, wrap it around your hook again four times. Then I'm going to take either eye, wrap it around four times. We're going to put it on these two pegs. And since they do have the connecting bands, we will have to take them off. You just take it off that peg, grab the band you want to put the eyes on, pull it through, put it back on that peg, then you're going to take this connecting band, put it right back on top. The same thing on this side. Just drop it down, grab the band, pull it on there, drop it down again, grab the connecting band, put it right back on top. Or you could just do this before the, you put the connecting bands on. Either way, it turns out the same. Now, all we have left to do before we start looping is to make the legs. So the legs are double banded. There's three of them because ladybugs are insects and insects have six legs. So this is three on this side, three on that side. And you'll need nine bands for each leg. I like to use the same color as the face in that because it like accents the colors and it's not all one color. So I'm going to use blue. I'm going to take nine bands for each leg. So I like to just set them all apart at one time so that way you don't have to like be counting the whole time if you already have them counted out. So that's eight, nine. So you're going to take first band, put it on your hook, wrap it around three times so you have three loops. Take the next band, you're going to stretch it, twist it, cap it, put it on the hook, pull that onto the band, put the band back on your hook. Now you're just going to keep double looping the bands and pulling them through right on there. And you're going to do this with all nine of your bands. So you grab it, you pull it through, put it right there. So cap it, grab it, put it on there. You're just going to do this with your leg. It's fairly simple. The harder part is the looping. I figured out a way to make it a little easier, so I think you can do this. <laughs> so now that I have all nine of my bands on there, you want to make sure it's like this. Then you're going to go in, twist around, and push it through that capping band. I missed a loop. So you should have three loops there and four loops on this side. And now we're going to place this as one of our legs. So you're going to go to the fourth peg up, push down those bands on there. Then you're going to take this very carefully, put that capping band on there like that. And then you're just going to put this right on top of it like that. So first it comes out like that. You'll want to, you can like put your hook in between them, grab the top one, bring it over to the other side. Like that. So it's on different sides. That will help later with the hooking. And so you make another leg. So again, get out nine bands. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right there. Wrap it around three times. Then you just cap the bands and pull them through. You can have more than one leg on your hook at once, but it is easier if you do it one at a time and put them on there. So I'm just gonna do all the legs with you so I can show you how to put where to put them and stuff. I make it a little easier. So there you go. Oops, that's I think that's eight. 
that's eight. So I guess I counted wrong. But so now I have nine on my thing. You're going to keep it straight like this, then just twist your hook in and get that capping band. And now we're going to go up one peg, push the bands down, put the capping band on there. Then you're going to put this right on top. Okay. You don't have to do it as fast as me. You can do it one little loop at a time. It's really, if that makes it easier for you, then by all means, do it. So we're going to make one more leg. Again, using nine bands. Might, you might want to count after you're done. If you're just getting bands, um, putting them in a pile and stuff, because you never know. Maybe you miscounted like I did. Or you could just count really carefully when you're pulling out the bands. So, oops, see, part of mine fell out. So I'm just going to pull that out. Grab this, these two, right there. Go to the other side, grab these two. This one was a little more tricky because it was right at the cap band, but you can always start at the beginning if you can't get it back again. They don't, they really don't take very long to make, so. If you make this and you have an Instagram account, please post a picture and tag me in it um, and hashtag it to the Loom Detective because I would love to see it. I love seeing all the different colors and stuff that people come up with to make theirs with. So please do that. And the link for my Instagram account will be in the description box below. And so again, you're gonna hold this straight, twist your hook, put it through the cat band. Can move up one, push the bands down, put the hook on it, the hook on it, I'm sorry, put the cap band on it, and then put those bands on top. And you can kind of like hold this side of them. I use your other hand to bring them around. So it looks like that. And now we're ready to loop. So just make sure your loom looks like mine. Here's how it should look. Okay, so now we're going to flip our loom around. I'm going to move this up a little. Now you're going to get whatever color you're using for your shell. You're going to use it as your cap band. So you put it on there, stretch it, twist it, put it around four times. So there's four loops. Drop it. Then you're going to reach behind, oops, reach behind that cap band, which is a little tricky. Grab the top band, which will look like two bands because it's a capped band, and move it over to where it goes. You know you did it right if there's like a teardrop shape there. Then go in again, grab that band. Oops, I keep grabbing the bottom one. The top band, move it over there. Then go in again, grab the bottom band, and move it up. I'm going to zoom in a little so you can see be looping better. And now we're going to go over to this peg, reach behind the bands, we're going to get the top bands, pick it up, and it should go over, over to the left, reach in one more time, grab the last band, and pull it up. Now we're going to loop up this row, so reach behind the cap band, connecting band, and just loop it all up. So you have that side looped. Now you're going to go to this peg, reach behind the top. Sometimes easier if you just put your hook in this hole right there. So you can pull back, see which one's the top. Grab, grab it. Sometimes it's hard to distinguish with the different um, bands because they look the same. You can always just take this band right here, kind of push it down a little so you can see it better. And then reach behind again, grab the top band, there we go, move it over there. Then you're going to reach in again, grab the bottom band, 
pull it up. Now we're just going to loop this line up. You reach behind the connecting band, grab the bottom band, and pull it up. It's the only band down there, so. I think you should be able to get it. So that. Now we're going to loop this middle row. This middle row is very, not very tricky, but it's a little tricky. So you got to be careful with it. Okay? So if you go slowly, that's fine. Just if you can't remember how to do it, not remember. If you can't figure out how to do it, just keep rewatching this video. Not this video, you get what I mean. This part, just to get it, how to do it. It's fairly simple, but because we're using double capped bands, it's a little tricky. Just because we don't want to break the bands and stuff. So just be careful. So you're going to take this band, pull it up. You're going to take your hand, push this up. Put the band on here. Make sure you're doing this gently and slowly. So now you're going to push this down. Now here comes the tricky part. You gotta reach behind all these bands and grab the bottom capped band, pull it up, and then carefully go side to side like that. Make sure this one's pushed up. Put the band on top of that. Now you're gonna push it down and reach behind. Grab the very bottom band, pull it up, gently wiggle from side to side till it's ready, pull it up there, push this down, reach behind it, grab the bottom band again, pull it up over the sides, and then very gently wiggle from side to side until it's ready, and then you put it up. So that's how your thing should look like. And now we're going to go over and loop the sides up. So this is just simple. You just reach behind the bands, grab that band, and pull it up. Now when you get up to here, you're going to grab that band, move it in towards the middle. Then you're going to reach in, grab the shell color band, which would be the top band of the ones that are down there. I keep grabbing the other one. So there we go. Then you're going to pull it in towards the middle. Reach in again, grab the blue one, pull it up. Get down to this side, reach in, grab the bottom bands, pull it up. Then you just keep going up. You can do it one um, band at a time like one half of it at a time if that makes it easier. Grab this band, go in towards the middle, reach in, grab the top band which is the shell color, and then uh, shell color, move it in towards that middle peg, reach in again, grab the blue color, move it up. Now you're going to go up the middle, you're going to reach behind all of those bands you're going to get the bottom two bands. So you got to go behind the connecting band too. So you can try pushing this one down. I just don't know if it'll make that much of a difference. Maybe if you like go over to this side and kind of pull it down a little, it might make a little difference. You can always look in from the side and figure out which one's the bottom one. Like there we go. Now I got it, and then very gently pull it off, and just wiggle from side to side till you can tell when it's all the way ready, because it just comes up like that, and it's much easier. So like that, then you're gonna loop up, go behind the connecting band, up, then you loop the sides. So you reach behind and you grab those bands. Reach behind, you're gonna bring that one into the middle. You go up on this side, reach in, and go in towards the middle, and that's how your loom should look when it's done, when you're done looping. It should look like that. And now you're going to take the band that you're going to use for the slip knot. You will um, like hide it in 
weave it in after you're done. So I like to use the same color as the face so it blends in. And then you're going to go in this last peg, put your hook in, stretch it back, reach it out, grab the band, pull it in, then go around the peg. There we go. And then you're going to take this band that's right here, and put that in your hook part, and pull it through. Stretch it out. And now we're going to take this off the loom. I highly encourage you to be using a hook as you take it off just because it is more likely to break because you're using double bands for this and we don't really want that to break because then all the hard work that we just did we'd have to redo it or you'd just end up quitting altogether. So definitely, definitely, definitely use a hook. So pull off the bands. Especially be careful with the leg bands because those have tons of bands on them and if it breaks, it'd be just terrible. So very carefully take it off. Pull your hook out of it. You could probably all do them all at one time. Just hoping none of my bands break, so you just gotta be careful. And it would help if you use Rainbow Loom brand bands, because those are the very best bands. Those are really like the only ones that I use. Unless I use like a glitter bands from a glitter color. From a different brand, but normally I use just Rainbow Loom brand. Definitely the best. They hold the best. Just better. Okay, so that's how it looks. We can take off the loom. This is, you actually have looped the underside of the ladybug, so you will need to flip it over. But you're going to stretch it out a little bit and so there's your ladybug. I really love this design. I think it's so adorable. It's one of my favorite huggers. This one and the snake is my favorite. Love, love, love them. So if you have any requests for a pencil hugger, please type it in the comment section below and I will add it to my list and work on making a bunch of those for you. So there's your ladybug hugger. Please like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. The link will be in the description box below. And I think that's all. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!